Hey everyone, it's Hawk Sky Flyer with my new uh, invention here. Well, okay, it's not my new invention. It's uh, David Vingisell from uh, Sweden. This is his tricopter. And pretty much everybody else on YouTube. What I did is uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I only had it built for the last couple days here. And I've been bouncing it off the ceiling and I kind of bent the pins here a little bit this afternoon. and uh, Everything's still working, but uh, what I got is I, I made some basically training wheels that take some pretty good abuse and uh, basically this is the, uh, the Dollar Tree uh, noodles this is the uh, if you can see that just uh, the noodle for swimming from uh, the Dollar Tree and basically what I did is just uh, I measured where I wanted this and I actually do have landing skids underneath here that I made from a hanger and if you can see this here, you take this much of the hanger, about that much of it, and then just bend it to, no, I, I should have made one, but just basically it, it comes up over so then the, the arm sits on top and then it's bent over again. So it's kind of like this. And then I just got it zip tied. And then what I did is I measured from the, the board, from the arm to the table here, on how level it is, and just got a nice sharp knife and basically just rolled it. Just basically all you do is just roll it. And if you're really good, it'll come out almost clean. And then uh, obviously it's too short, but then what I did is, because there's really no way to put this there, so what I did is I just made a, a notch about two blades deep and then just kind of turn the knife went over there cut cut it out make sure it's a little flat in there nothing too major then go to the other side and about the same and that's what i did last time just kind of split it open like that and get all that that out of there and i cut my hand open and then you don't want to make that too wide like that's too wide but and then uh, where this is and then where my landing gear is I just made a slice and it fits right over that so when I get good in a couple of years from now I can just take these off and I'll just have the landing gear which is like that right there and it's just you can see part of it right there it just sits right there but this right here covers that up so it's basically bouncing off the foam and it, I haven't had it come off but I just thought well I just zip tied it on here. It's it's loose. It still moves, but um, if you make this just a little skinnier than your arm, a little little shorter, it'll fit in there real snug. It'll snug fit, and it ain't gonna come off. That's one good thing. It it, it they never came off, and I've been flying it for two battery packs here in the basement. And I've been hitting everything else, which I shouldn't be doing, <laughs> but uh, that works pretty good. And I just thought I put a zip tie on, and just real. I didn't. It got it squashed. But just I think I got it like on the first two or three where it goes click click. So it just kind of just crumples it and it ain't coming off. It's nice and sturdy and they they squash. So I just wanted to make a little uh, video on something like that. So uh, hope that helps anybody like it helped me. And uh, until my next adventure, have a good day.